Hi. Man, we are time. we are back this week finally. Yeah. Um, knocky knocky. I got him saying that because my couple of my TikToks, but I've been saying a little knocky knocky. So now it's stuck in Bruce's head. Speaking of Bruce, Ron put his glasses on in the background. I thought it was Bruce for a minute. <laughs> and I just <laughs> speaking of Bruce, I just <laughs> remembered that uh, you tried to call me last week. <laughs> I got it handle. I got it handle for him. He called me afterwards. Uh, I uh, I was. I, can't remember exactly what it was I was doing. I was uh, doing something. I couldn't answer the phone and stuff. And, and anyway, and if I don't answer it then, man, lately it's like, I don't I forget to call people back. So I'm glad you handled it. Yeah. Hey, real quick. Uh, if you guys are watching from our personal pages, some reason StreamYard won't show your comments. If you're wanting to comment, uh, just hop over to Ginger Bros. Didn't show and watch it over there. If you're wanting to comment, if not, you can sit back and watch it on ours. It don't matter. Yeah. So, I don't know why that's an issue, but. Stream if, I, I think the first time we we you could see the ones from mine, but uh, but not yours. And then the last time I, going back, none of the ones from mine or yours showed up. Late tonight? No, we're on the same time we are every night. Yeah. <laughs> like clockwork. And you're a Facebook user, so <laughs> yeah. What do you uh, know? <laughs> what do you know? You don't even see the link to click and where we can so see you who you snubbed. are. Bruce is <laughs> being snowed. I answered it. I got yeah. you, boo-boo. I love you, buddy. Yeah, Brandon, no, no, it's okay. Well, I thought he was old and probably butt-dialed me, too. So I probably. <laughs> he hit the, the, the little spinny thing on his phone a couple of extra times. <laughs> From Facebook. Up, Greg? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Anyway. So, yeah, we uh, uh, we were – we just didn't have a show last week. We didn't even – we got we so busy, to. we were going to do it, and then – well, I'm gonna call him out, Shane Myers. I was trying to get a hotel to have him. On the show. Oh yeah, that's he's, why he's got a great TikTok and everything. He ghosted me. I even sent him another message like Bueller, Bueller, and got nothing. I'm like, thanks, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he comes to the meetup. I'm gonna call him out. <laughs> he better. He better. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's another thing. You got your meetup coming up November 18th. Mm-hmm. Uh, so if y'all can make it. Let uh, Andy and Amanda know. Um, but uh, you can. They can share links on where to sit up. Yeah, it's uh, where to stay in hotels. Yeah, another, another Facebook user here. Hey, we was going on streak where we wasn't getting any. So, so y'all go back to the description. You can hit the link, uh, streamyard.com forward slash face, Facebook. I can't even talk. Facebook. <laughs> and um, it'll allow it to, to for everybody to see your name. You can uh, see it when you do it on Facebook. We can't see it on StreamYard, so you'll always be a Facebook user if not. So anyway, a little bit of info on the tech meetup. So I've reached out to several tool companies. Uh, it's looking like we're gonna get some more donations to you know for raffle toys or tools off for toys. Uh, we got some good barbecue coming. Ott's Barbecue is like uh, chef's kiss. They're right down the road from us, so we'll have that uh, and just have a good old time. I'm pretty excited about it. It was a great. Great time last year, uh, great turnout, mm. and um, a lot of, of great prizes and stuff, but tons of toys. Yes, tons of toys. blew it out of the park last year. It was amazing. Yeah, and then you have your regular Dents for Kids one, too. So Yeah, that's um, December 3rd. We've already got two uh, lined up for that. Like, usually, we get close to it. People come in with a little bit of Dents. We're like, hey, we'll just put you on there for that and get a toy, and you can yeah. get a Dent fix for a toy. So, win-win. I think we finally have nailed ours down to December 9th, but we're going to do it in the afternoon because it's the same day as the Christmas parade here in town uh, that morning. So I think what we're going to do is uh, a car show. Um, And then all those who want to just participate in the car show, bring toys to and stuff, but that'll draw people off the road uh, Mm -hmm. and make it, you know, last year we did more of the community event, had food truck jumpies, face paint, and all this kind of stuff. And the only people that came were those involved, even though all the prior, you know, month, month, month and a half working up, just like we have every year. I mean, we fill the room up with toys. Uh, yeah, but, like, but, like, too. but like I told them, I said, it, it's not about the money we spent on all that. It's, I would, if that's the same tur- turnout we're going to have, I'd rather put that money towards the program. Absolutely. And uh, so we come up with the idea of doing a car show and um, they've already reached out to some of the clubs and stuff like that. And they're real, real interested in it and stuff. So um, maybe our guests will show up and hang out with you. Maybe, I, but we haven't put anything out there yet. So I haven't really told 
anybody. <laughs> it was me. I clicked the stream early. Oh, 69th time. Yeah, it's just 69, right? It had to be <laughs> on because our guest does like to hunt. Yep. About it. Yeah, you picked a good night. Anyway, the ex we is. So we'll, yeah, uh, I agree, man. We need to do cars and coffee at our shop. We're, I was talking about that today on the PDR uh, retail shop thing. Just don't tell them how much you charge for a, a dent repair. Yeah. Then they'll be talking about you. For a <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we'll move on to our guest tonight. Uh, so I met Ron, man, it's only been probably about what, six months ago or so, finally. Um, but he's down here with me across the bay. Um, and, I'm, I wish I'd gotten to know him a lot sooner because, uh, you know, you, you try to reach out to people in, in your areas and other texts and that. Some don't work out. Some do. <laughs> this is one that worked out. So <laughs> burned, that's, huh? that, that, that's good. So anyway, we'll bring him on here. So uh, y'all welcome Mr. Ron Paris here. What's, What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? How are y'all? Oh, good. And I've met Ron before, but that was in my drinking days, and I don't remember it. So it's like, <laughs> it's like we're meeting for the first time tonight. <laughs> I, I can give you a little background with that. It might you might remember I came out to the parking lot with a big hell light. I just dawned on me about that. I don't know if that helps or not. Like trying to do do uh, lot cars with a big hell light. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'd be all I'd want to use now. That's, I'd be me at a car lot right now. Like, I, I can take my glasses yeah. off when I do that. <laughs> Uh, Jeremy's asked you got anything good on the trail cams this year. No, but man, I sure have been watching a few of them. Nothing, I haven't even I hadn't, I hadn't even set mine up yet. I got to get up there, but I ain't had time. Like Mr. Biggs, <laughs> he will be at the tech meetup with the ants and vans. Oh, so nice. Biggs is coming. Yeah, Chris. All right. Yeah, I told him make all. I was like, I, I wish all of you come. You know, all yeah. them two and Stephen Dyke, but. I'll get what I can take, even if it's big. We'll get Dyke up there in Pittsburgh and get Biggs, you know, yeah, that'll work. Year, so good swap up this year. Anyway, so let's. Uh, I kind of told you a little bit beforehand, but uh, you know, kind of give us a, a background of how you got started or how you heard about PDR and kind of got started into it to where you are now. I got a buddy of mine that I grew up around. Uh, he kind of learned it. He had been looking up some information about PDR, and uh, he learned most of his stuff from Don Gray. Um, mm -hmm. You guys know him out of Colorado. Oh, a lot yeah. of his tools are around. The tools, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Don was in Memphis chasing a hailstorm, and they met up, and uh, he kind of took him under his wing. Uh, but my buddy tried for a couple of years to get me to – I'm like, what is this? You talk, put tools behind the panel, and you put – come on, what are you smoking, you know? It was just kind of odd to me. I didn't know anything about it. I was in construction at the time. Uh, but I came to a shop one day, and he was like, man, just see if you can find the center of this dent. He had to drill a circle on a hood, and I it was kind of natural. I guess pouring concrete and finishing it, you kind of – that hand-eye yeah. coordination, you know. I could see it, and he's like, man, I wasn't expecting you to figure it out that fast. <laughs> I'm like, I, you just said find the center of that hole, so I did. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, I got shit to do, man. You do <laughs> I, mean, yeah. yeah, like, like, I just thought you was going to be here all day. <laughs> yeah, overachiever. <laughs> <laughs> And that, that's kind of where I got started. He, he started training me. Um, and then um, we were in Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, and I guess it was about the time the military got pulled out. And uh, so the economy kind of tanked because no one's buying cars. Half of everybody's gone. Mm -hmm. um, and I seen a Dent Wizard truck pull up. And I'm like, let me just ask this guy. And then, you know, you always hear stories about Dent Wizard. I'm like, I didn't know anything about Dent Wizard. That's kind of where I got started um, with them. I worked with my buddy for about two years. Um, Sean now, now when me. when was Red. this? What year? Let's see. That's got to be probably the late nineties. I would okay. think. Probably around, and I'd say ninety eight, ninety nine, somewhere in there. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. So I was uh, graduating high school. <laughs> ninety eight. I was graduating high school. <laughs> yeah. No, you know what? Oh man, '98. Hang on. Yeah, I, yeah. I guess it was oh, gosh. somewhere in that area. And we've been married for 26, almost 26 years. So I'm like, you know, it's when <laughs> it all adds up after a while. Yeah, right. Yeah, but, yeah. And then uh, I joined Dent Wizard uh, out of, I guess, up there in Clarksville, and uh, worked in Nashville for maybe like two or three days. 
<laughs> before they gave me the option to go to either uh, you know North Carolina, Austin, Texas, or Miami. So he's like, man, I'm sorry, we got this badass dude named <laughs> Patrick up here taking all the kids. We got to move you. It ain't gonna work. <laughs> well, <laughs> it seems like they they sent me to you to see what you thought about me, and it's obviously thought didn't think too much about me. Sent me off, <laughs> I was like, man, it's too oh, cold. <laughs> Put you in when I was in high school. What are y'all doing? <laughs> oh, His shoulders about to go out already. <laughs> <laughs> he's pulled a hail light out in the parking lot. What are we doing here? Let's roll <laughs> with the. A hundred foot extension cord. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> he got fluorescence and shit. I don't know what's going on over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's and hilarious. It, it's funny thinking back, you know, how things got started. When I moved to North Carolina, uh, I ran into Toby Fields, and uh, I'm sure some of you guys know him. He oh, he's yeah. supposed to be on, but I know it's getting close to his bedtime because they're yeah. an hour ahead of us. And he's, he's old. Yeah. But, uh, but, between him and Sean Ponder, you know, learned a lot of stuff. Two great guys. Yeah. yeah. Toby, I mean, there's a many tools. My son still right, reminds me about it. Yeah. I remember taking a hockey stick and was going to go through some panel, and Toby's like, what are you doing? Straight face. I'm like, uh, I'm trying to fix this dent that you just told me to work on. Why are you using that tool? Because uh, that's the first one I grabbed. <laughs> Why didn't you think it out further than that? That's the stupidest tool to grab. He took that tool and threw it across the parking lot. I can hear you saying like, it, too. And I'm like, this little guy. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to- Toby taught me a lot of good stuff and bad stuff. But he taught yeah, you how to fix all the flickers at five did. o'clock in the he morning. Did. And yeah, then you went over to Sean, learned how to fix some bigger shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> we always joke. Toby was put the pictures of the oh. little dents up. And oh like, yeah, seriously. <laughs> Ain't break a sweat for those, you know. But, yeah. You know, he, he's done and playing Call of Duty by, you know, 1130. And that's after lunch, you know. So, <laughs> what are you talking before the show? The best thing about Toby, he gave Den Wizard management hell, or he still does probably. But look, here oh, he is. There he is. Quicker. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah. I respect Toby for how much Flickers hell he quicker. gives Den Wizard management. Like, he, he does not let, let up on him. I love it. <laughs> it, it's funny i was cleaning out a few boxes and i found an old calendar i had with stuff i'd wrote down a little black books we'd take into those uh, tech meetings to you know to tell the managers hey you said you're going to order this and as soon as they see it their heads would go down <laughs> 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 that's so awesome yeah i said i love toby and sean was another great dude i met him at four star training and we kept up a relationship yeah. since the years and stuff so definitely great yeah. guys in that market yeah, that the uh, that and the uh, Mark Kamoshi. I gotta I gotta say something about him because uh, he's the, uh, you know, he's the the ladies man. I don't know what he is now, but that's how he always acted back then. <laughs> but if he was on, I'd have to I have to embarrass him because I got a picture of a wreck he had in the Dent Wizard vehicle. I still got it on my phone. <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> but yeah. And Mark went from looking like a uh, McLovin, like when I first seen Mark, he looked like McLovin. To looking like like Shane Jack or something. <laughs> I'm like, Buffed what up. The roids. <laughs> yeah. Toby gave that guy so much hell, too. <laughs> I'm sure he still does. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all. Awesome. And you said you're – are you originally from Jackson, Tennessee? You know, I, I was born in California, moved to Tennessee, and I was eight. So, I, I okay. consider Plain Tennessee home. home. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where – I was even at yeah. in California. I wouldn't. I wouldn't claim California. Either. Yeah, no. It, you know, Tennessee. I grew up. I grew up in Humboldt, so about okay. 15, 20 minutes north northeast of Jackson. So, mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah, I'm originally from Tennessee. So oh, we got our guy, great guy Kent Baumgartner out there. Love Kent. So. Yeah. Do you know a a Jeff Garner or a a Jeff Harris? Mm-hmm. Jeff Harris is kind of in the Jackson area, but I think he's been chasing hell. Okay. More so. I think he was yeah. going out working with Don Gray some. I got you. But I think Don is close to retiring, but they still say he'll do at least one car a week really? or so, you know, just keep <laughs> He's in his 70s. Got to be by yeah. now. But yeah. It's crazy. Like, I hope, if I'm in my 70s, please put a bullet in my head if I'm still pushing this. Like, I want to be done by then so bad. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Bruce, but I, I don't want to push this as long as you. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> Put me down like an old dog. Just shut her down. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so, so you then, ended up going to North Carolina? Yeah, we were in Raleigh for about five years. Okay. And then uh, we kind of wanted to be closer to the beach. And uh, Dent Wizard had an opportunity to come. 
I forget. Like we thought we were going to be more towards Pensacola, mm-hmm. but it seemed like most of the work was more to- closer to Mobile and, and uh, Montgomery. Uh, so we kind of picked Foley. We always went to Destin for vacation. I, yeah. I knew Alabama had a coast, but I never knew Alabama had a coast because I never went to it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's Alabama, I mean, but yeah. that's football. So um, it's just uh, we came down here. We've been down here about eight years. Um, but I worked for Denton Wizard maybe – maybe another year, maybe a year and a half by the time we moved down here. Cause at that point, you know, I was having more people call me just for reputation and just, you know, people working on customers' cars. Yeah. I had more work on the side than I did from them. I would do their work and then come home and work, you know, the rest of the time. And mm-hmm. just got to a point my wife even said, why, why are you even working for them now? You've got more work on your own than you do for them and you're doing everything. So, we just kind of made a decision and uh, went with it, and you know, it's it's paid off. Were yeah, there were off. there any other Dent Wizard guys down here in Mobile? The closest person in was uh, Birmingham. There was nobody. Mobile. That's what I was figuring. Yeah, yeah. That's, and that's from my what... understanding, there's still nobody down from Dent Wizard in Mobile. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. see how somebody could make it as a Dent Wizard guy in Mobile. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know. No. Pensacola, oh, yeah, that's a different story, but yeah, um, but Pensacola is so loaded up anyway. Yeah, so I gotta say, his grandparents were buried at the naval base or are buried at the naval. Well, I can't okay. say where, I guess, unless something weird happened. Yeah, <laughs> that's that naval awesome. Base. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah, I, there, yeah. yeah, I went by there. Like Brandon told me to go by there, or he drove me by there and we checked it out and everything, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that where we went, Brandon? Where what naval base? No. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, we I went by. Right. We went by the battleship. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. No, nowhere near Pensacola. No, we're close. near Pensacola. We're still an it hour away. It is near the water. Yeah, I, I got nothing. Uh, That's why. So don't feel too bad about me not remembering you, Ryan. Like, I don't remember. Right, I took a break. I don't remember having Greg on the show. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here fixing dents, just living day to day. That's all I can do. It's all good. That's awesome. It's all good. So, yeah, I kind of feel you on the, you know, you're doing more work on the side than you are for doing. That's kind of how mine, you know, got started. It's like, why am I even wasting time driving a match every day when you just be sitting here making money right here? And Yeah. So, yeah, you good know, feeling to build it up the right way. Yeah. Then was, was a good, is a good company. I mean, I don't want to, I don't tear them down. It mm-hmm. was just local management. Local mm-hmm. management. There was a few that, they tried their best and, and they did the best they could. But I think sometimes their hands were tied because it was all about the money, you know, not spending money, but sometimes you got to spend money to make money. That's it. So, you know, and it's like, sometimes they just didn't get it. And some managers didn't even know what we did. One guy was like, as we're getting ready to go cold call, like, uh, so what is it that you do again? I'm like, I push dents. <laughs> it's dent wizard. Remember that's the company you work for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, but it's no. We we we've got a lot of good friends in in yeah. the industry that are still wizards and and yeah. Probably we'll give them shit every day, but yeah. <laughs> what are you but doing with your life? <laughs> definitely no, the best, and and we got a lot that used to work. Yeah. For them that you know, yeah. I tell everybody like if you're in a good situation, then when you're making money, they're leaving you alone. Yeah. Hey, you ain't got no reason not to. But if they're yeah. leaving you out on the island and you ain't getting the help that you're giving them all this percentage to get the help from and no, do your own thing. It's, it's time yep. to leave. That's it. But that's what, that's what any, any industry, any, any kind of yeah. company you work for. So mm-hmm. it is. But it's, um, being so what's name about, of, go ahead. What's the name of your company again? It's a plus dent medic is the plus sign. Nice. So that was, uh, um, that's something my daughter came up with. She was in school at the time. She's like, you know, it's like a plus sign. You always want an a plus. So yeah, I'm like, Huh. So like we kind of went with that. You know? yeah. So and then it kind of helps when you're advertising because it comes up at the top with an A on there. So yeah, <laughs> right. Like the old that, phone book. that was a bonus point, you know. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So uh, are you doing wholesale, retail? What all? What all you got going on? I've got a few dealerships. A lot of it's body shop, uh, but we do a lot of uh, retail. Okay. Um, there's a lot of customers coming through and a lot of it's through the dealerships and a lot of it is just word of mouth from customers. We had a little hell storm. I guess it's been what three years ago when orange beach got hit yep. and uh, 
that was some bad stuff. And yeah. I figured if I got 15, 20 cars out of it, I'd be tickled. It's stuff that you could do. And it was word of mouth, one little block. One I did one guy's vehicle, and the rest of them followed. Uh, but it was like the biggest thing was a quarter. They was like they got the the easy stuff. Oh yeah, you know, everybody <laughs> else was hammered. You know, glass broke and headlights. You know, like. But yeah, it was a, uh, it was it was. I was glad just to have the few that I had. Oh yeah, but yeah. With that, that's just kind of we do some advertising. Um, we just started doing Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm not that tech savvy. So my, yeah. my daughter kind of runs a little. My wife does a lot of it. Um, and and so. like like with me, and you'll you'll kind of figure it out. Uh, Google will probably be your best. Um, Facebook and stuff. It just like I think the majority of that's people already know we exist. Yeah. And so the majority is is word of mouth. Um, yeah. I still think but, educating people because they don't know what we do still. That's the hard yeah. part. Yeah, and it, that's amazing because it's uh, there's times where people will call and you can tell they're just completely confused and i'm like that you know it's it's been around you know forever mm-hmm. yeah for 30 years now something like that yeah uh, just the 40s yeah. really i that, mean if you go yeah. back to the what they consider the original time you know guy that yeah. started it but yeah I mean. so but you you do have to educate them mm-hmm. um, and they, sometimes i find i got to educate the body shops because sometimes they think well this is just too big for you and i'm like no the technology we got now and the glues, I'm like, mm-hmm. if there's, I don't like telling people no. So mm-hmm. I yeah. and until I try it, I'm not going to tell you I can't do it. Cause I, right. I think in my mind, I can fix everything. Yeah. Now, sometimes I can't, but in my mind, I'll tell you I can't. Right. You know, but you and, don't and know it, until you try. And, yeah. and just because you may not be able to fix it doesn't mean that it can't be done by PDR. Right. You know, and right. that's what. Bryce Kelly running around there somewhere and handle it. <laughs> yeah. But that's what you get. That's what you get in area, every area. You get those few little ticks that, you know, really don't need to be out there. But that's the one, that's the ones who see something and they're like, oh, I can't right. be fixed. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Cause they're not going to say I can't fix it. They're going to say uh, it can't be fixed. You know, they're like, not going <laughs> to recommend anybody yeah. else. They're just going to be like, it can't be fixed. Got to go to the body yeah. shop. Yeah. But, and we always like if we get some bigger damage. I'm kind of iffy. I'm like, look, this might not cost you any money if I can't repair it, but if you let me have a right. shot at it. What's it hurting? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm learning in the process, so let's go yeah. win win. And that that's how I am as well. I mean, there's some technology. I mean, I haven't gotten it yet, but I want to do that. Uh, I seen it on a metal medic. Those little braces that actually pull away from the dip. leverage. Uh, the leverage. And, yeah. I just uh, used them lateral. lateral, lateral, lateral come over here. Come lateral over here anytime yeah. you want. Okay. Yeah, I, I've Kiko's, done my own makeshift stuff, but I haven't yeah. actually bought anything. And, uh, Kiko's yeah. actually got some new ones out too. That it's two slot bars, smaller ones. Yeah. You put them on each side of the damage, and it's pulling it out, and that leaves your whole space, your workspace open nice. to be able to knock down crowns. So I, I'd highly recommend checking on them too. That's what I. That's what I used. But you know, you can also. Put, I had it above and below the dent, mm-hmm. but putting the tabs where the bar is going over those dents and then screw it out. So it pulls it. Yeah. On each yeah. One of that. But you know, it left the bigger part of the dent open, but you can do it on each side. It's pretty yeah. cool. The whole, the whole little thing. And uh, yeah, if you, if you want to play around with it, All right. you know, you know where I'm at. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds sexual. Oh, hey, <laughs> if you want to play around with it, you know where I'm at. <laughs> well, he's a killer. I'm all the way across the bay. Come on. Forward tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, ra- I'd rather probably go to Foley than, than anybody who won't come to Mobile. Yeah, I can see that. might get mugged in the tunnel. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely get stopped at the bottom of it. But Yeah. Don't stop at the gas station without Brandon's shop. It is not, in fact, a gas station. I learned that. <laughs> I don't even know what that place is. <laughs> I'm still scared to figure it out. The, the Y, the Y and Z, or so. It's like oh, it's crazy. It's like gas station, uh, car lot, and something else all mixed. I have on. seen that place. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> so, so yeah. when I when I was little, you know, this was my dad's shop. And he'd do test runs, and after school, if I was here with him, like late in the afternoon, he'd go do a test run. You know, I always wanted to stop by there, so I get a snack. Like I'd run in there and get chocolate milk and a, a, a cinnamon roll or something. You know, and uh, back then it was a definite little gas station. 
man, there's been so many things ever since. <laughs> like, yeah. Apparently, Andy went down there to get cigarettes or something. <laughs> All they had was cools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. I'm at the wrong spot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting town. It was cool seeing like a little college and everything. You know that was cool. Yeah, the new stadiums and, and all that, and then yeah, South Alabama's come a long ways, but there's still a lot of it I didn't get to show you. Right. Especially, over, we, especially over towards Ron's side of the bay over there. Yeah, That's right. the, the highfalutin side of the bay. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Rivera. Rivera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. So during your uh, two year non compete with them, was it you just strictly stick to retail and they leave you alone pretty much? You know what was funny is I had a dealership up in Montgomery. It's a uh, Reinhardt Toyota, <clears throat> and uh, Glenn is all the the main manager married into the Reinhardt. So his wife and, and brother in law pretty much run it. And they left him alone because he was almost like the Toby of car salesmen. He didn't <laughs> put up with nothing. He's 70, ex-Marine, just, you know, I don't care what name is on your shirt. I want you pushing my dents. I'm like, Glenn, I got a non-compete. I don't care. You know, he just kept on. So I, I said, I, I got to wait a certain amount of time. He's like, all right, as soon as that's over, come back. Um, and a lot of it was retail. Um, they never said anything. You know, I tried to honor as much as I could because, I mean, I, yeah. I – they were good to me and I try to be good to them and, and listen, never went back into any of the other places except that one. When the time right. Was uh, still, like, you pay for my lawyer, man. I'll hook you yeah. right up right now. I, I did tell him that. I, did tell him that. <laughs> I told him so their pockets are a lot deeper than mine, but if you want to chip in, we'll, we can do this. Yeah. And, uh, but even to this day, which recently within the last few months, I think it was kind of a, a blessing in disguise. I stopped going up there. They just got bought out. So now okay. they are, uh, Montgomery, Toyota Montgomery. Uh, but Glenn retired. And I'm like, I always said that if Glenn ever retired, I'm more than likely I'll be out. Yeah. But I th- I used his retirement as, you know what? I think it's time. It was a two hour drive one way. Actually, three oh, hours. God. Three yeah, hours drive yeah. one way. Yeah. I've been doing that for eight years. Oh my you God. Know? But it paid for itself. At one point I was going twice a week. Right. But I'm like, you know, I, at that point I'm like, this might be a time to kind of just back away. Mm-hmm. And just and and it's paid off. I mean, the body shops. And well, then we've had a couple little hail storms yeah. here and there. So you know, it's it's been a it's been a good turning point. And too, I'm you know, I'm not spending that much on gas anymore either. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I see you you was very integral part of Toby's uh, business. That you- I was wondering if he was going to show that. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, hey, you see the, you the game matching shirt and pants. <laughs> he said when he was just a baby. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yep. You was playing Mark for the day, huh? Yeah, I was. That's, that's Mark's job now. <laughs> that's awesome. I love it. Thank you, Toby. Mark, Mark got promoted for that. <laughs> I, I seen. I looked down. I seen Toby feels like, oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to that one. To me. I don't even have that one. I forgot yeah. about that. Send it to him, Toby. Mark took that picture because that's all he could do at the time. <laughs> he couldn't even hold the umbrella. <laughs> It's probably too heavy for him. He's strong as shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wind, the wind. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> like the Wizard of Oz just flying yeah. away. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I'm sure so, if Sean's on, he'll probably have some kind of picture of something somewhere, I'm sure. We got two other Facebook users on here now, so I don't know. You never yeah, know. Sean's hit or miss. Sometimes he'll hop on, sometimes mm-hmm. he won't. So, yeah. you know, I usually like so I see him at MTE and we'll chat it for a little while. And, Roll yeah. on, so you come to MTE this year? I'm gonna try to. Uh, we didn't make it uh, last year, um, but yeah, my son is wanting to learn dance, and I'm training him now. Um, he uh, he's not in the blending yet, but he did a roof rail on the Silverado we had, and uh, he pulled every single one of them dead center. And uh, I don't have to do, go back and blend them. I mean, they were like dime size, yeah. dime to nickel size, but I'm like, man, it saves so much time. Yeah, but he sees it, so it's like it's nice to see that he's a, uh, you know, catching on to it and learning it. And right now he can push quarter size dents mm-hmm. on flat panels. So mm-hmm. good. He's he's come a long way. That's awesome. How old is he? He is eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Boy, that'd be sweet. Come out of high school right into PDR, like Man. yeah, having made. Yeah, he he keeps awesome. So we can go chase some hell now, right? I'm like, <laughs> um, 
No, not really, because I don't, I don't want to do no more hell anytime soon. Right, <laughs> right. now, we've had enough. Say, like, hey, we've had three years of hailstorms down here, so yeah, that's what it seems like, yeah. and they keep coming. If they're not, you know, the last hailstorm was just there in Daphne, but yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's perfect much, size, perfect yeah. size little dents, and it's not it's not a killer storm. It was like hit and miss. Some people don't even know they had hail damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, and then everybody's been on vacation. It's hailing everywhere. So they come home and they, they got hell damage now. I, know. So. I got Andy, one. In, yeah. I got one in the back. This poor lady drove through three hailstorms on one trip: one in Florida, one in Alabama, one in North Carolina. I was like, oh, "Bless Man. your heart." She's like, "I'm good. I'm a. Te- I was a teamster. I can. I can do it all." Like, I- <laughs> <laughs> but her like, and surprisingly, the rail had three in it. It was about that freaking deep, you know. Uh, yeah. and I spent more time on it than I did the roof. The roof wasn't terrible, which it had double sunroof, so that helped yeah. a lot. But then her hood, it, it hit that body line and cracked paint, so we're replacing that, which yeah. now that I got Ray and CCC and all this wholesale price, and I'm still making good money off that, too. So And you got a body shop right next door. <laughs> no, I don't even, uh, we yeah. got a painter from, from Ray's old body shop that does it for us. He'll come by and pick it up. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll cut a piece out of the old hood, and he sit, takes that with him, and he can match like nobody's business. So, wow. yeah. Awesome. yeah, we're lucky. Like Ray, Ray's been so valuable. <laughs> he really has. That's what was good about the Orange Beach sale storm is, I had a painter right next door, so we only had to replace one hood. But I was like, yeah. ordered the hood, took it over there. He painted it, and everything, and I went picked it back up, put it on there. There you go. It's, so it's good when it works like that. Yeah, and it makes you not want, like you look at the hood and be like, nah, I'm good. I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't trying to be near as much of a superhero when you know you replace it and still make money. Yeah. You're like, hey, I have a yeah. heart. But exactly. From, from what I'm hearing, though, parts are about to be very, very scarce. Yeah. We got a charger um, that came in yesterday from that May storm, and it's a, uh, I think the hood for it's fourteen hundred dollars. Wow. And that's not it. That's just the part. Yeah. So I'm gonna get about two G's. It's like I'll push the shit out of it for two G's. Be over here just smiling. <laughs> I <don't even> care. <laughs> hey, I, you know, I I do it all day long. Right. Yeah. But, yeah, but that part um, shortage, we uh we should be getting more and more valuable every day with the part shortage. I don't see no I'm reason why we should be I'm wondering how bad it's going to hurt moldings and stuff like that, or if it's mm-hmm. not. Toyota's usually the majority of all the damn moldings I have to order. But, um, you know, and some of that's already on back order, and I just don't know. But then yeah, again, got- some of it's coming from Japan, you know. Yeah, we had a Pathfinder that it took forever to get the moldings and <laughs> Finally got them back in, took care of it. So at least moldings, that's small. I think his eye catching is like the you know the whole metal yeah. panel on it. So what up, yeah. Frank? What up, Frank? Hey Darren, when you get Frank on sometime? That might be our so, guest next week. So All let's right. get into yeah, we're already halfway <laughs> through the show now. So uh we'll get into who who you are, who Ron is outside of the PDR world. So, you know, uh you married you obviously you you're married, daughter. you know. Uh you've been married. 20 what how many years 20, 26 years this year 26 years yeah. uh you got how many kids two got a boy and a girl uh and so, we all, uh, yeah. so the 18 is the son yeah. and how old your yeah. daughter she is 22 she Sorry. just got married right she was in the process of doing oh. that but that didn't quite work out oh okay yeah. i'm sorry so she <laughs> it, it, it's it's a good thing it's a good thing they're, okay. they're still good friends and stuff it, it was a uh, mutual gotcha uh, but uh, yeah, it was a good learning experience for everybody, I think. But I, I, I did see this was pretty cool because, and I saw it because she tagged you in it. But the four of y'all just got uh, skid steer certified, right? <laughs> Brandon yeah. told me about this before you came yeah, on. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, so well, go ahead. I was gonna say yeah, I, yeah. I operated a lot of heavy equipment stuff, and I wanted to comment on there. So you know. What does this mean? They let you out in the pasture and you do 360s <laughs> as much as you could, as much as your heart's content until you're done with it. As soon as I seen that skitster, I'm like, I'm doing spinning on one on one, I'm doing some donuts on that thing. Yeah. Uh, but you know, we do a lot of volunteer work. Uh, I'm one of Joe's witnesses, and, and we do a lot of uh, uh, construction on some of the, the Keenum halls and around gotcha. the area. Gotcha. So it's just one of those things that it, it helps because it's all volunteer. Yeah. Most of the projects take about three to four months um, to complete. And so, you know, you'll get pulled in and asked to, to help. Um, I think in, I think there's sometime in October, I'm going for about three days over to Louisiana and working. 
but with the skid steer, I mean, we've worked heavy equipment. Oh, yeah. I was in construction for 12 years before I started doing dents. So it was just, at least the kids were excited about, my yeah. wife was excited about. That thing was air conditioned. It had a radio. Oh, I'm yeah. like, this oh, thing, yeah, this ain't work. No, no, <laughs> this was nice. <laughs> yeah. I saw my dad's got a pot belly. He's been working on a uh, track hoe for like years now, and it's, yeah. that belly just keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, the, the new, uh, you know, the – the way that everything, even um, graders, yeah, have all gone to just joystick and just. Yep. I mean, it's. I could op- I could sit the uh, one of the newer you know dozers and stuff. Give me a little D six yeah. and all day long. Yep. Air conditioning, tinted oh, yeah. windows, radio going. <laughs> I had to turn the air conditioning down. I was oh, starting to get cold. I know. <laughs> It'd be condensation First on the outside problems. in the middle of summer, but. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's something that Alabama was doing. I mean, it, it didn't cost anything. The, the state yeah. gets grants. And uh, I think okay. they're supposed to be trying a, a track hoe and a, a dozer class coming up at some point they're trying to do. So I'm like, if anybody's wanting to, that particular class, could, anywhere in Alabama, you could go to work right then. That's what they oh, say. Yeah. You know, I'm yeah. like, does that give you a good basis? Well, you know, I know with, with my, my old company, my old job, I traveled whatever almost nine years managing disaster work cleanup yeah and when we would have people you know fill out you know resumes and all this you know for hiring process if you come in i don't care how old you were and you're you're applying for a an operator's position on a piece of equipment and you come i can drive that dozer if you mention the word drive yeah <laughs> through trash next <laughs> you know well, i can yeah. drive no you can drive that 40 ton out there, you know, yeah. but you're not going to drive that dozer. You ain't going to drive that excavator. <laughs> so. Exactly. I got to ask Frank how old he is. He's building skid steers in the 1900s. Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 you're uh, old. <laughs> he's older than all of us. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's awesome. Uh, especially, you know, the, the whole family kind of just, if whether they do it in the future or not, right? Just getting someone to teach you and, and certify you in that, teach you the yeah. correct way to do it. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. And, it, yeah. and like you said, it's yeah. free, so might as well yeah. do it. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. There's that, a family yeah. for sure, like a family yeah. memory with each other. Oh, yeah, you know, that's like when we go out and, and work on these halls. I mean, we just it's probably been a month ago now. We were in Louisiana and uh, we poured uh, 216 yards of concrete in two days. Uh, it wasn't just me. But yeah. you, you're you sitting there sweating. I don't necessarily say it's fun. I do enjoy doing concrete because I used to do it. But it seeing your kids help you, yeah, you know, and, and seeing younger people. But I'm like, you know, I'm getting older. This is, <laughs> yeah. I feel it a few days afterward, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like those big dents, you know, yeah. after you've worked on a few days, it's like, oh, you know, <laughs> you start to feel it. But yep. it is a good experience. I mean, because nowadays you don't see people that, have a skill per se everybody is pushing yeah. buttons somewhere you know oh so, yeah and if, if you don't do dance at least he could go get in the skid steer and you know operate it with air conditioning and a radio so there yeah. you go <laughs> hey i mean you know all those uh crews that we had cleaning up debris after hurricanes and yeah. stuff yeah. new orleans for two years i mean yeah. if you know those crews would rather have somebody that's certified to operate that yes. equipment it's dangerous and, uh, yeah I mean, but that's also the position you want on that crew. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not absolutely. you're not a flagger out there standing on the road with a I sign all day long. Yeah. You know, yep. you won't. I worked I work construction with my cousin for a little while, and I had to hand dig. I was like, Nah, I gotta find something else to do to save my oh, life. Yeah. <laughs> this is not it. I've dug a few ditches myself and footers, <laughs> and yeah, it's not fun. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. It, it is funny. Just you just do what you got to do. It's like yeah. you know, in the middle of a parking lot in the summer. That ain't fun. Nope. You just nah. gotta do what you got to do. You know, nope. that's like, all I can, got a shop. I can, yeah. I can roof. I can do a lot of stuff, but I don't want to be a roofer. Yeah, exactly. You know, I don't want to do <laughs> asphalt unless you are have the machines and do it. I don't want to be the yeah. guy down there to do that. I don't yeah. want to do concrete work, but if I had to, I would. Yeah. I couldn't. So, I don't know shit. <laughs> You'd be the flagger standing on the road out there. <laughs> and you're high this yeah. sweating. I'm like, I'm out. I quit. You can talk on a walkie-talkie, can't you? <laughs> a Norwegian backhoe. What is that? It sounds fancy. 
Norwegian backhoe. Norwegian I'm not sure. Back. Oh, there's probably it's a bunch Bruce, so coming. I'm already, yeah, I'm waiting. For <laughs> pretty amazing. Industry. I don't know who you are, but yes, it is a pretty yes. amazing industry. A shovel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love it. It's yeah, like a, ma- a Mexican uh, backhoe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, so what do y'all like to do uh, for sure. fun? Is there, you got any hobbies other than helping people? And You know, um, I love deer hunting. We've been deer hunting several different places. Uh, we're looking at a place over in Louisiana. Some friends of ours got some property. No one's been on for several years, at least that they know of. Yeah. <laughs> Could yeah. have been somebody on there, <laughs> but, uh, at least to their knowledge. But, uh, well, we've been playing volleyball a lot. Sand volleyball, family. Okay. Uh, my wife don't necessarily play, but me and the kids, and we've got friends. We played last night, probably seven or eight games, and then they they just left today to go play again. We got a tournament in Louisiana um, this weekend, and I say tournament lightly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm the oldest guy on the uh, team, so I'm like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, you know, it's a uh, we. A lot of it's just hanging out. I mean, we've been doing a little bit of remodeling here at the house. Um, we just redid my f- son's floors, put hardwood, took the carpet out, put hardwood floors, redone his room. And eventually, we're gonna, you know, continue throughout the house. Yeah. Figure that was the smallest room we could do that in about three days, and you know, we'll we'll go to the next room. Re- from re- there. Recoup for a week <laughs> after being on your knees. For oh a- man. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, that, being on your knees, that, that's a killer nowadays. We, that's we what started- she said. We, we, <laughs> uh, I knew at some point it was good. Yeah, had to. We, we started on our kids' room last summer, got them, got the hall. Oh, no, it wasn't last summer. It was right before Christmas last year. And uh, got the hall and living oh, room done before Christmas. I did the, the kitchen and dining area. I have yet to do our room <laughs> and our bathroom and all that. And Still got all the flooring and all that. I just, I'm yeah. like, I'm not. Uh-uh. It took Shoot. me a while to recoup from that. Me oh, and Amanda, yeah. me and Amanda did this office together. We got, we, I got divorced about 50, 11 times. Like <laughs> we just had each other the whole time. It was not a pretty sight. But we, we got through it. We made it happen. <laughs> well, we're, we've got a little carport, and we're talking about adding on to it and closing it in. And so me and my wife are in the drawing stages, and we both have ideas and yeah. trying to, you know, come to, together on stuff. And she's got. Some, she got some pretty cool ideas, and there's time I'm like, I don't even know how we're going to do that. You know, like, <laughs> the idea is awesome, but I'm like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so we may have to hire somebody to help help do that particular part of it because I'm like, I, I don't build cabinets, you know. Right. I'm yeah. sure I can YouTube it somewhere and figure yeah. it out. But, yeah, you already know. <laughs> just as easy. Just as easy to go ahead and get somebody to do it because I'll right. screw it up. It'll take me three years to finish this one door. <laughs> <I'm Yeah. cabinet. laughs> And the money you spend on new tools and everything else to do it, yeah. And the scrap wood, you know, you should have yep. been paid somebody. And then get yeah. motivated to do it because <laughs> after working all day, it's like I don't I know. Know. last thing you want to do, go work yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. When I when I get started on something, like I want to get it done. Yeah. So when it's like I've got to work and I'm not going to get it done, say if it's going to be a weekend, man, that just it sucks. I, I hate that. I just yeah. want to. That's kind of where we started with something small. We knew we yeah. could get it done in a few days. Uh, eventually, I think we're here. This weekend we're gone, but I think the next weekend we'll be here. We'll probably start in my daughter's room and then uh, come back out to the hallway. Yeah. You know, you know the hard. Small. I, I found out the hardest part <laughs> is cleaning everything up and getting it out of the room. <laughs> that, that was today. We yeah. we got we got everything back in and out of the living room. From, <laughs> so yeah. it was like. Like the living room looks normal again. So, well, that's one of the reasons I haven't done our room is because I built our bed, but oh, I had to put it all together in there. Yeah. And then our mattress, I swear, it feels like it's five hundred pounds. For some reason. One year, keep going. I'm doing the day with family we're over east. <laughs> yeah. Don't do it on holidays. <laughs> Julie, Julie, not Kiko. Not... It's Tad. <laughs> oh, okay. Had it all in that building and planting trees and oh yeah, whatever. <laughs> he does it all. <laughs> Watching John Wayne movies. <laughs> uh, the wife can say is I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's going to cost a bunch. That's like uh, me and Amanda's yeah. trying to get the switch tracks for the shop, and you know we're trying to design some stuff. And I finally like 
I don't even care what it looks like when it's done, as long as it's done and put together. Because she's, you know, I'm like, hey, you can have at it. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> I think y'all just need to do the different colors inside of each other in a rectangle, and then keep the center just checkered. Hey, TV is the devil. <laughs> <laughs> My mama said. Yeah. My mama said HGTV is the devil. So you do some deer hunting. What a What's your rifle of choice on the deer hunting? <laughs> I've been using my wife's 30-30. She's got a lever action Marlin elevated scope. Oh, uh, nice. And the reason I say it's my wife's gun is because she told me she'd go hunting with me, but she didn't have a gun. <laughs> I don't think she's ever shot that gun. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been killing deer with that gun. <laughs> so, oh, good. I've got a, just- uh, I got a 30, uh, 30-06 that I just got not too long ago. I think I've shot it once. Uh, yeah. Just trying to sign it in. Uh, but this year I got an AR. I'm going to try to dial it in and maybe shoot it. What caliber? Uh, 225. Okay. So it's, you uh, doing any kind of other kind of hunting or just deer hunting? You know, I've been wanting to try to go hog hunting and trying to find an area that ain't going to rip you off. You know, yeah. it's been kind of hard. They reach out to Clifton Acton. They seem like they love that shit. You, know, you had to go to Texas. <laughs> hey, I, I would love that. I've seen a few things from Texas on Facebook. They're in the helicopter shooting ARs and hogs. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> sign me up for that. Yeah. that <laughs> <laughs> I think it starts out at like a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's, an hour it's up there. Yeah. Like that. yeah, he's like, I'm skid steer certified. I can handle <laughs> shooting shit out of it. If, <laughs> if I do that, I won't like the. The the mini the one is like the round gun, like a Gatlin gun. Like, yeah, like five hundred million bullets a, a second. You know that's what I love watching those videos. Hog hunting. You get to well, talking about guns. To- Toby will be back on here in a minute. All right. <laughs> well, I yeah, thought Jeremy yeah. would, but yeah, I think he he came on say hello and rolled out, acting yeah, like he's watching the whole show. He doesn't like to watch unless somebody's on here talking about hunting. Yeah. Hog hunting hey. sky would be a blast. Yeah, absolutely. No. So oh, you know, definitely would. So another thing I've always wanted to go do is prairie dog hunting. That's like whack a mole. Yeah, so you, I mean, you just set up a table. You set up a table with, you know, put your gun rest there, and you know, like I've heard the best is like a twenty two two fifty, and yeah. just sit out there and whoop, they pop up. <laughs> it's just it's like whack a mole, but you could shoot hundreds of them. You it's got to be in Kansas. We drove through Kansas one time going out to Colorado, and it's like just flat, nothing but prairie. <laughs> You can see them going 60, 70 miles an hour down the road. So yeah. You see their head yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was little, my granddad used to take me out west and we'd stop by the big prairie dog, you know, fields and everything. You know, I yeah. thought it was cool shit when I was little. They're, they're a nuisance, just like Nutria are yeah. in Louisiana and, yeah. and uh, Armadillos. Leprechauns. Leprechauns and Mobile. Leprechauns and Al- <laughs> <laughs> Where to go with that? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yep. That'll never get on. I'm glad we, you reminded me about that. We got a lot of nuisance. You talk, man. That, that was so embarrassing. I was in New Orleans when that hit after Katrina. And, it, <coughs> and I, you know, we're talking about how bad New Orleans was, you know, even the locals. And then that crap comes on TV. They're like, didn't you say you're from Mobile? I'm like, yeah. Did you see that uh, Key and Peele uh, TikTok I sent the other day? News reporters there, and they're like, the oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. The other guy's like, we're, we're leaving. There ain't nothing going on. He's like, just wait. And sure enough, they, he was like, think of a mythical creature. He's like, a unicorn, or a Pegasus. He went up talking to him. He's like, yeah, the, the Pegasus was on my roof. It broke it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of the unicorn immediately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pegasus wrecked my car, man. <laughs> so that's See, awesome. Uh, y'all got any. Where do you well, you say you, you're looking Brandon's at having man, a stroke. I, uh, <laughs> you say you're looking at a place in Louisiana. Have you been hunting in Alabama any? Or you know, I, I've been a couple times up near Luverne. I got a buddy that has some his parents have some property up there. Okay. Um, but they're in the process of selling. His parents passed away. His dad did about a couple years ago and his mom did uh, just this past year. Um so I think they're in the process of selling this. So I really haven't done much thought about doing some public hunting yeah. um but a lot of times around here the public hunting is there is no gps or nothing it's like you drive near the end of the road 
you're at the end of the road. You yeah. you walk in, and that I mean that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. I mean I know how to find my way back out, but it's just and you don't I, know who else is out there because a lot of the public land. Yeah. I mean yeah. even though they may have a log book and stuff like that, it's it's and I've yeah. never. I, that's just what I've heard. I've never heard yeah. it on the public stuff. But I love bow hunting, and that's what I want to do. But normally you don't carry a a sidearm with you when you go in, but I'd really want to carry a sidearm when we yeah. want to go in. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you can only shoot so fast with a bow. Yeah. Something's chasing you. I've got it. Yeah. You know, and there's things in these woods around here that, you know, the hogs will come after you in that house. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah. Or a gator, if you ain't paying attention, mm-hmm. you know, yep. so it's just, uh, moccasins, I, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Growing up in Tennessee, we had, a there was an area we'd go hunting. <laughs> People, were People are really dumb. You ain't lying. Yeah, I've seen quite a few videos of that. You know? <laughs> yeah. So it, it gives me a little apprehensive about it. But yeah. I remember growing up, we, we had a buddy of mine that was a farmer, and he had hundreds of acres. And uh, me and my father-in-law were uh, we were riding our four-wheelers back in the bottoms, what we call it. It was kind of swampy. And uh, we seen this cat print, it, literally that big. Mm. And it was starting to get dark, and I was like, we didn't have mountain lions, supposedly. You know, the game oh, wardens all denied it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's something. That ain't a house cat. <laughs> <You know? laughs> that ain't fluffy. It. No, it ain't fluffy. <laughs> it ain't fluffy. And it's yeah, it ain't yeah. fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there's. They, uh, <laughs> I like how Facebook users tell Tad to give Facebook or stream yard for me. Is that jail for something? Like, what are we doing? I don't here? know. <laughs> we'll go back and see later. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's some mountain lions around here and fucking all kinds yeah. of good shit. Bobcats, got a lot of bobcats and stuff. I've say? actually been up to uh, Clarksdale and hunted. My brother in law's got some property up there. He he does interiors. You might know him. You know what, Eric Pollock? I'm not sure. Maybe what if I saw him. I'm terrible with names and memory. I don't know what his company's name is. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> so Tess, I'll be back. <laughs> like he's leaving. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a few. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. I know Carl Nevy's a little bit far, far from me, but he might be a good one to hit up to go hunt with. You know, he's doing that airsoft and everything else, and he's just yeah. I do to hunt anything. I think <laughs> we've we've got you know property to hunt. It's just having some place to sleep <laughs> other than where we sleep. <laughs> That's the only thing. But no, we you know, ain't but three of us that hunt, and two of yeah. us that kill anything. <laughs> but, and one of us it cleans everything <laughs> funny how that works funny how that works yeah my daughter got two uh last year they were does but she used that 30 30 she's yeah. in, in a ground blind and we were in oklahoma at the time and uh she shot one and she thought it ran off but she didn't go looking back at the video it actually dropped she just didn't see it because there was she's... another one standing behind it and uh another one ran off like shoot it I think they, I think in Oklahoma it was three or four dough a day, yeah, something like that. So, I mean, you know, she didn't have an issue with it. But that little 30 30 has been around for a long time. Oh, yeah, nice. that's so. what that's why I shot my first deer with 30 30. And you know, I will get that one when dad passes or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I did buy one, it was a for a hundred bucks, about a 1964 Winchester oh, nice. back in like 2009, and uh, so. You know, we go out there planting and stuff like that, or if I'm just going to go to an area that I know it's going to be a very short distance. I'm like, I'll just take yeah. 30 30. And it's open site. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that's what I'm going to use. But I did have to buy a 308 year before last. And man, I absolutely love it. Yeah. And, <laughs> Matt, you figured it out. What are you talking about? Yeah. Matt, I'm too dumb to figure out stream yard and it shows your name. <laughs> well, I th- maybe he was on it, he and maybe clicked off and came back, it. and he was Facebook. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Kim said that thirty thirty was a wonderful anniversary present. Shake my head. <laughs> 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 <That's awesome. laughs> well, it was a thought to count it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least somebody. Yeah. <laughs> That that's my wife, just in you know, yeah. in case you didn't know that. But yeah, yeah we kind of figured we're two and two together. We ain't that dumb. Yeah. My, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like my two forty three I got when I was twelve years old. That sucker was dead on all, all you know, my life. And then 
started dating my wife and she started going hunting with me. Well, I let her use that. Yeah. And I used 30 out six. And I, first one she shoots is a seven point. The next time I'm like, okay, well now you can sit by yourself, you know, I, and I drop her off, tell her where the stand is. And, uh, you know, I leave, I didn't get all the way to my patch and boom, <laughs> like crap. I and mean, that was back before cell phones really. And so I go yeah. back and, She's standing out in the middle of the field, on, on, standing over a doe out there. So she wow. killed like three deer, and I'm like, okay, you can't come back anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but See, uh, Amanda, there ain't no way Amanda would go hunt. She's animal lover galore. Like, she would cry and cry. Like, there would be no way. <laughs> and she she's right-handed, but she can't close her left eye to keep her right eye open. Mm -hmm. wow. So she has to switch it around and shoot left-handed because she can close her right eye. Well, that's why I'm left-handed. Luckily, it's but bolt I, action, so it's, yeah, it's not yeah. right. But. I'm left-handed and shoot right-handed because my right eye is dominant, so I got to have it on my sight. So yeah, wow. it always worked out. Yeah, but I'd always wanted to get into bow hunting, and then oh, man. Uh, I'd love to do like it now, it. but I just I don't think I came on my shoulder. Like so. my my bow is uh, I think it's seventy-five pounds, but once you get it back, it locks in. I mean, you yeah. can hold it there all day. It's mm -hmm. getting it back there. Yeah, yeah. A little bit, that's you know. the and sometimes that's the part, <laughs> and, it, and it's all you know, depending on you know, I could probably do it in certain you know, positions, if I could get yeah. it low and then come up, then I'd probably yeah. be fine. But trying to, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> 75 80 pound bow getting it back, you know, yeah. then you miss and through. you just cry like all that worked for nothing, yeah, <laughs> you just throw the whole bow at it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've decided this year I'm going to get a camera mount on my bow and make sure I can transfer it over to my gun because I see deer and there's times I'll pass on stuff. Yeah. It'll be 10 yards in front of me, almost like you can just about smell them. And nobody yeah. believes me. You know, there's no yeah. proof. You know, I can't get my phone up fast enough to videotape it. You know, <laughs> and it's like because half the time you're, you know, dozing off and you, <laughs> hey, there's a deer. How long has he been there? You know, <laughs> I think you know, what Tacticam makes a bow mounted. Yeah. Uh, when they do. Yeah. So, yeah, I always, always watch hunting shows. And I finally put a TV up in the shop out here this afternoon. <laughs> so, Maybe. Between the well, football games and the deer hunting. I bought a new TV for our bedroom because it looked like the color <clears> was going <throat> out like on certain things. Um, and so I bought a new one last night, put it in there, and I'm like, I'll just take this put it out of the shop. It'd probably get ruined anyway. So, uh, so now I got something to watch, you know, if I work on – weekends or i just put a hunting show on or car show or whatever i got tv but it shows all my cameras like i can see the front i can see the side and just like this. yeah yeah which i got the laptop i can throw it on my other my laptop milwaukee pack out case <laughs> just roll I, need, it I need to see if i can do the ring app on tv yeah that'd i don't be, know that'd be good the kit we got is uh was from costco or something and it hooked yeah. up into the tv and everything so it's a little different sweet so are you still are you just mobile or you have a shop? Huh? A lot of a lot of times we're at the shop. I've got a small shop at the house. Um, mm -hmm. If it's hell cars, we'll bring them to the body shop and take them take them there. If it's something that's not going to take long, usually I'll do it there. Okay. Uh, usually I have customers come here. I've actually had customers come from Pensacola, <laughs> um, which is forty five minutes. So, oh wow! <laughs> she's got to answer. Sorry, <laughs> she just ain't, and I don't need. I like. She can't even hear us. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> we got a shop at the house, and it's uh, it's been great. The kids have just learned window tinting. They nice. went to uh, Jacksonville. Uh, my daughter's still doing it. My son don't really like it, but I wanted him to try it just to see. Mm -hmm. um, he really likes doing the dents more. So, and I think his patient level at times with the tin is. It's just a different difference, you know. Yeah. Like I told him before, you're gonna go through stuff. You, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna mess up something. You're gonna have to walk away, come back. Um, Matt, you came on too late. We talked about all this already. Matt, <laughs> Matt he's down here with me. He's over in Foley, uh, you know, over towards the beach. But he's from. We don't claim California. He's from Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah. He's, he's been in uh, uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Now he's down yeah. there. There you go. Yeah. Quick recap. But but he is a he is a LA boy now, a lower Alabama boy. So there you go. So LA's still around. <laughs> LA's still around, but the better LA. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we got we got a lot of good California friends too. So you know, 
can't. For most people, it's moving to uh, places like ours and yours. But what's funny, Californians want to yeah. get away from all the crap. <laughs> yeah, especially Ron's side of the bay. Everybody's buying new houses over there, all moving from California. Oh, they finally stopped giving out building permits because <clears throat> the, the growth is used to <laughs> the road that we live on is County Road 65, and nobody knew it, about it except the locals. Yeah. Now everybody. I don't let people back out of the driveway. I tell them turn around because they'll get rear-ended. I mean, people are passing right in front of the house. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's legal. They can. Yeah. But do they really need to? I mean, if there's yeah. a stop sign 100 yards down the road. <laughs> right. It's, it's like a drag race trip through here. That's like our <laughs> road we live on. Like, it used to be. I remember growing up, driving, that's the first road I drove, and everything's all farmland and stuff. And now it's just houses going left and right. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Chill out with that shit. It's building right. like crazy. I guess yeah. you got to look at it positive. Like, it's just more potential people coming in to, get some dents fixed but still it's like i want yeah. my country <laughs> yeah yeah a lot of the locals you know talking with with a lot of them after the, the orange beach hail storm um that have been living down at the beach all their life you know yeah they hate it you know because yeah. it's so bad down there just so much traffic and everything else that- when we first moved here we eight years ago we could probably get to the beach from foley in about 30 minutes you know just little bit of traffic yeah summertime it might take you two hours and it's only 15 <clears throat> minutes 20 minutes yeah. normally yeah um i mean it's literally from our house 15 miles so i used to always take the back roads you yeah. know even when i moved to <clears throat> mobile in 99 um still would take after back graduated roads. yeah oh i moved i moved look we moved from mobile to fairhope and when I graduated in 98, I can't, well, I went to Foley for a little while, about six, seven months. And then I can, I got back to Mobile. And uh, I think anyway, Foley's where my grandmother lives, ain't it? Robertsdale. Okay. Robertsdale. Well, pretty close. I mean, it's just okay. right up the road. But uh, <laughs> more of the farmer area used to be. But um, no, anyway, the, even the back roads, I mean, it's just, it's like everybody knows about the back roads now. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing safe. <laughs> yeah, Brandon, I don't, or Matt, I don't know nothing about Alabama. He does, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hey, know my in Alabama. <laughs> there you go. You got the state right. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can. She's, she's the reason that I knew about the hailstorm last year that Andy came and helped me on because. She was sending Andy the photos and videos of her getting hit <laughs> and his mom of, of at their house or at her house in, in Robertsville. And uh, but then I'm like, okay, you know, I'm telling some another dent guy in Pensacola area or over there. I'm like, hey, it's, I started seeing that sale. I'm like, hey, it's coming your way. And I was down at a uh, recital for my daughter downtown Mobile, and I start seeing these other sales come up over by the house here, and I start seeing the hill in it and i'm like okay and then i start getting we start getting calls and then the next day that was a sunday the tuesday monday started getting calls tuesday calls all day but we were going to state championship game or games in you know northeast of birmingham and uh man it's a whole way up there i'm on the phone just people calling people i'm like look we'll be back you know, yeah. Thursday or whatever, and uh, it was it was a good little hailstorm just right here by the shop. Yeah, nice a little area, but yeah, not what this one was. I mean, this one was the Hurley one was bigger, but yeah. or I just had more work out of it. Yeah, that's how it was. I was helping a friend of ours over in uh, Ocean Springs, meeting over in Pascagoula, mm-hmm. and helping him on a Monday because I was the only dad I could have available until we got hit <laughs> over here. And it's like I don't have that Monday no more. Yeah. He's like, that's fine. Do what you got to do. And then he's calling, hey, they're calling me at another body shop where you're at. Can you can you handle this one too? I'm like, uh, sure. <laughs> when do they need it done? It's like, can I schedule them out? <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah. It's, it's nice that's great, man. Like that. Yeah. If I could always have one hell job a week or even one a month would be great. Yeah. You know, just that, yeah. that extra, that extra yeah. money or whatever. But I, I still have. All them, all them sticky notes are regular dents that have been waiting since <laughs> end of April <laughs> and May. Yeah. And uh, had one call today, and he's like, "Did you forget about me or whatever?" You know, I was like, "No." I was like, "I told you it'd probably 
be close to November or December before I can do that. He's like, okay, I'll just, but I squeezed him in, I think next week. I was like, look, I'm putting you ahead of other people. So, yeah, you know, and sometimes you got to do that. And that's how it is. We're in the, to, uh, the second week in October yeah. and it's like, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but you know, it, but yeah. customers, it, you tell them ahead of time, you know, it's not it, brain surgery. It's just a dent. Yeah, not, not going to rush. Not going, you know. And if they want right. you to fix it, they're going to wait. And you know, that's all it is. And I told told one today. I'm like, I mean, if you feel like going to the body shop, yeah, they're going to replace your bedside. You know, but it doesn't need it. It's a ten inch dent on the back back here. You got one yeah. little chip in the paint. You know, I said, but you know, it, it's going to be end of November. You know, beginning yeah. of December before I can get to it. He's like, okay. I said, I'll put you on the list. I'll call you ahead of time. If you still want to do it, that's fine. If you've already done it or gone somewhere, I don't, that, that's fine. But I do one health card and now I'm scheduling. So, yeah. So I've got, I quit scheduling hell jobs for a weekend. So this past weekend was my first weekend completely no jobs. Nice. Um, I've done one hell job for ones I have left, one hell job a week for in the, middle of november end of november um but like the one this week i got done and put all back together by tuesday afternoon by like three o'clock so then i was able to call some of these in to schedule for the rest of the week and that way i kind of get called up but anyway hey look i tell people all the time like i'm not complaining but i'm complaining because <laughs> i'm wore out i'm just i'm just yeah, I'm tired. Tired, and tired and you know the heat is what I think was the worst part of it. Yeah. This summer. You know, yeah. it's been one of the hottest summers and, and I don't have an air conditioned shop like this guy. Yeah. I don't either right now. A caterpillar fried my circuit board like oh, you still haven't fixed ago. It? no. Dang. So glad I got air conditioner. Damn caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> fried my freaking circuit board. Yeah. Those are some big caterpillars. I heard it. <laughs> I was like, you can't even be nothing that makes sense like lightning. No, it's gotta be a damn caterpillar that yeah. tore my shit up. Wow. So, Have they given you a time, estimated time? Of- they can't even get a hold to do. Like every anybody else that we try to get to do stuff around here, no communication. I'm kinda yeah. over it. Well, it's like the my you know, guy across the street here that was supposed to give me a quote back in April. Yeah. For mini splits back here. And he pulled up the day I was checking the mail. And he just like takes a deep breath, and I'm like, I feel you, I feel you. <laughs> and he, you know, he's an AC company, one of the biggest in Mobile, and it's like, I feel you. I said, that's why I haven't bothered you about. He's like, I never gave you a price on that. I'm like, no, you didn't. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've been sweating my butt off back here all summer long, but I didn't bother you. I've just learned a lot of people don't run their businesses like we do, and if we ran our business like they do, then we would never get any dents to fix. Yeah. Like, how does that yeah. work? So it's just well, I mean, yeah. we just know. Yeah, I mean, they've been slammed. Yeah, and I get with that. With AC work and my biggest yeah. thing is communication. Communicate with you. It's all yeah. I need. Yeah. Communication is key. Yeah. It is, and we over communicate probably here, but I'd rather do that than not communicate at all. So yeah. Yep. Well, Ron, we're over an hour, brother. Yeah. So that's a great we, show. We appreciate you coming on and. uh and getting to know you a little bit better and um yeah of course we need to get up when when i slow down enough i can kind of you know, get together you're more welcome to come up to the toy drive november 18th so right. yeah i appreciate it yeah. thank you and i'll send you the info on ours that we're you know doing and uh if you okay. can make it great you know yeah. y'all can stop by or whatever we don't yeah. do the dents for kids thing anymore um but it's just a little hangout thing Gotcha. But it, but we always do great as far as getting toys and donations. So, okay. But anyway, well, Christian, thanks for letting me have, come on. Hey, thanks anytime. for watching, kids. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we appreciate everybody who watched and commented, like always, uh, especially all the Facebook users. Man, we had more Facebook users tonight than, than any time. So, yeah. all these new Facebook users that are out there. Uh, we're gonna start calling you Facebook losers, but um, <laughs> anyway, we appreciate it's it. Mark, I know it. there's people who've been on here too, and they just for some reason, and it does that with me on other shows. When mm-hmm. I go to watch, I comment. Like, how the Facebook. hell am I a Facebook user? I'm like, I pay for StreamYard. <laughs> yeah, you know. But um, 
anyway, so yeah. Uh, Thank you for coming on, Ron. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks, yeah. Thanks Brandon. Really. And we'll yeah. um, we'll decide if we have a show next week. We'll let everybody know. But we we'll hit up anyway. uh, Frank Sale. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna put it put us in the back room. We'll end the show, and then we'll say our goodbyes as soon as I end it. So everybody, peace. I gotta find Bye, my everybody. My, my button over here. Come on now, we look peace awesome. Out. See you. <laughs>